Well, after 30 years of film censorship under Indonesian President Suharto, Indonesia's film industry has blossomed as it explores the country's difficult past and the reformation which began in 1998, which of course began Indonesia's step towards democracy. The reformasi is explored in a recent film called Behind 98, screening at the Indonesian Film Festival. I'm joined by its lead actress and ambassador for the festival, Chelsea Islam. Hi. Beautiful to have you with us, Thank Chelsea. You so Thanks much. for joining Thank us. Thank you for inviting me over. It's an absolute delight. You were such a little baby, three years old, yeah. when the Reformation That's started. True. How exciting is this for you to explore this, this part of Indonesian history? So, um, as an Indonesian actress, I feel honored to become one of the actresses for the uh, Dibalik 98 or Behind 98 in English. Mm -hmm. And I was only three years old back then, but I, I did some research and I talked to the ex demonstrations and ex activists as well. And I learned a lot from books as well. And I hope that this movie, Behind 98, could be an educational movie for a lot of people, especially for the young generation, youth generation in Indonesia. Indonesia and around the world. Chelsea, when you spoke to those activists, how comfortable were they of revisiting what were quite difficult times for Indonesia? Yeah, it was uh, a tragedy back then. But um, when I met them, I met them in Trisakti. Trisakti was the campus, so uh, they called it Reformation Campus. And in that in that campus, we met a lot of people, the teachers as well, who were still alive till now. Mm -hmm. And I also met a lot of uh, people who were uh, joining the demonstration back then. And we went to some museums as well. And in that same campus, they have a Reformation museum. So I learned a lot from them and not only by talking, but from the research one-on-one -on -one survey. And I actually went to the museum and I saw a lot of um, great historical items there, like the jackets the alma mater that they used. Mm. Uh, time passes so quickly and, uh, uh, as you would. Do you think young people understand how lucky they are to be living in a very different Indonesia and, w and, and the trials and tribulations? Yeah, I think they should be really grateful because nowadays they don't have to, you know, fight and they don't have to, you know, uh, face those kind of uh, incidents anymore because those uh, people who were living back then in 98, they had a really, really hard time. And um, I think that, therefore, they have a much greater fighting spirit than the in Indonesian uh, children right now because now they're into gadgets and technology. But back then, they were fighting, striving, and they have a lot of hopes and dreams that they want to fight. but due to the uh, due to the uh, incident and situation back then they couldn't they didn't have that they couldn't strike their dreams uh, tell us about the stories though that are contemporary do you think the film industry is able to tell some of the contemporary stories about poverty about some of the issues that face younger generations I think that now Indonesia's uh, film industry is actually developing and I am very grateful because I um, I joined the the film industry a very young age at a very young age now I'm 19 and I really want to make a change for Indonesia's film industry and I hope that I can make a change and bring a change for the younger generation and for the upcoming generation so that they will uh, learn from more movies that will talk about Indonesia's history but also the real life of, of Indonesia and I hope that um, Australians and Indonesians can work together to produce movies which would be very exciting. Now, of course, the, the, the industry is growing and you're getting Hollywood success as well. There are a number of Hollywood stars. Yeah, what are. happens if Hollywood comes knocking on your door? That would be oh. a big temptation. <laughs> it's an honour. I hope. I hope. That's, that's actually one of my dreams and I really wish that one day I could perform in Hollywood and bring Indonesia's name. Like, mm. actually, right now, right here with you, it's... <laughs> I, I can't describe this moment because I've never, I've never thought that I would be interviewed by... Um, ABC TV, ABC channel and I hope that I could bring Indonesia's film industry to the world. That's actually my dream. That's it's wonderful and I'm sure you'll go on to have a wonderful career and Amen. continue telling those fabulous stories. Amen. Thank you so much for Thank joining us Thank you so Chelsea. much. Lovely Thank to you. meet you. Lovely.